So telling your story, if that's a purpose for a blog, does it, does, why, uh, what's the rationale for that? And I would argue that uh, unlike uh, Facebook or a LinkedIn, it's a, a space on the web that you control and that you brand. It can also be a hub for other social media. It's a container for all the content that you want to bring to it, whether it's narrative, visual, video, or other. So in a nutshell, a website's a space to hone and update your value add. Uh, and I, I would hope given this group, 40 plus, it's either going to better equip you and advertise you to look good for your next employer by blogging your thoughts and expertise online. Uh, or uh, alternatively, you can also use this as a platform to be a consultant. Uh, this uh, slide talks about a website as it figures into your overall marketing strategy. It's, uh, uh, we cannot forget the real world of marketing uh, as we emerge out of a COVID era. Uh, we're gonna get back to in-person networking. Uh, I mentioned social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and the like. Uh, social media, you can you kind of use independently, a uh, fairly simple basis by updating profiles and engaging in discussion. A website I'm arguing, uh, which is my big focus here, can be a hub, not just for your social media engagements, but also for your, uh, for your, uh, uh, other kinds of content in the real world uh, that you're bringing to the bringing to the table. So, in a uh, credibility, control, searchability, those are all advantages of a, a website. And also on the graphic up front is business plan. And I, I'm sure you've had presentations in the past on business planning. You're not going to have really an effective website, or for that matter, social media, unless you have a a well laid out and clear business plan for yourself as a professional on where you're going. 